Glory to God, it's another glorious day that the Lord has given us and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I bring greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Tunde Dada, a senior pastor at Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom, uh, Kingdom Builders family uh, in Luton. Today we reflect on the topic, God is not interested in this. God is not interested in this. Our text is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 14 through to verse 16. Ezekiel 33, 14 to 16. Again, when I say to the wicked, you shall surely die. If he turns from his sin and does what is lawful and right, if the wicked restores the pledge, gives back what he has stolen, and walks in the status of life without committing iniquity, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of his sins which he has committed shall be remembered against him. He has done what is lawful and right. He shall surely live. A memory verse, John 3, 17. John chapter 3, verse 17. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. Dear friends and brethren, I love a Bible passage of, uh, you know, of today. And for me as a person, it gives me a fresh insight into the mind and into the heart of our Heavenly Father. And I can see clearly through the scripture that our Father is a compassionate Father. He's a Father that is full of kindness and tender mercies for all of his creatures. I could see that the father is not interested in the death or destruction of anyone who sins. He would always want us to seek for mercy and forgiveness rather than continue to dwell and live in unrighteousness. And surely God is not interested in judgment. He's not interested in condemnation. And God is not interested in the death, you know, uh, of his creatures. He is always ready to show mercy. In various places in the book of Psalms, the writers celebrate the merciful nature of our Heavenly Father. If you turn to Psalm 86 verse 5, the scripture says, For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive. And abundant in mercy to all those who call upon you. Verse 15 of the same Psalm 86 says, But you, O Lord, are a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in mercy and truth. And if you move further to Psalm 103, Psalm 103 verse 8, he says, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abandon in mercy. So dear friends, uh, let us desist from painting an incorrect picture of the nature of this father we are talking about. God is not interested in the destruction of the sinner, but would rather they run to him so that he can shower upon them his tender mercies. And I am in total agreement with the general verse of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, when he said in our devotional commentaries for today that all these fall and fall down and die prayers against sinners is not scriptural. Friends, did you notice that God said in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 16, that if a sinner or a wicked person turns away from his or her wickedness to the way of salvation and righteousness, you know God promised that none of the sins and wickedness that that person had committed in the past would ever come into remembrance again. So any wickedness would be forgiven him or her forever. So let us not join other ignorant people to pray all these unrighteous and unscriptural prayers. The Lord Jesus Christ 
commanded us in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 44. He says, But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. I know we may say it's difficult, but you know that His grace is sufficient unto you. And so it is time for us to arise and begin to obey this commandment of our Lord and Captain and begin to pray every sinner, every enemy into salvation so that they also could become our brethren and co-inheritors of all the things that God has prepared for all his children in his kingdom. May God himself bless you as you take on this commandment and you live it out in Jesus name pray with me this prayer father fill my heart with the compassion of Jesus so that I will care for sinners even as you do in the name of Jesus Amen. Thank you for being part of today's telecast. I hope you have been blessed. I pray that the Lord will watch over you and make his name glorious in all that you do today. In Jesus' name. Thank you.